What's up guys, Canon here. Do you know why I love my bikes? I love my bikes because I do enjoy riding on them for hours and hours and it's because those fit me. It's as simple as that. So today we're adding another helpful tool for you guys to our bike size and bike fit playlist so that after watching my episodes you will be able to find the right geometry and the size of the frame set for yourselves. It's gonna be a size calculator and uh, we're gonna do it in three very simple steps. First off, you're gonna go for uh, competitivecyclist.com and the calculator that they have here on their website. Uh, you can also just uh, Google up bike size calculator and one of the first uh, among the results will be the bike fit calculator, calculator from competitivecyclist.com. So, um, if you are here, first you're gonna uh, choose some options like male, female, uh, kind of the bike and so on. Super, super easy. Uh, and then you can see this fit calculator. And now just don't be discouraged uh, thinking on how to measure sternal notch and so on. Because um, when you click on the box, you're gonna just uh, fill out you're gonna see the tutorial on how to measure this uh, particular measurements like forearm you click forearm and it changes here you can see video on the forearm length thigh you click thigh and you will see very detailed information about it so first go for competitivecyclist.com calculator then you just fill in all those uh, boxes here like sternal notch there you go this is how you measure it and your total height height this is how you're gonna measure it and that's it. Then you simply click continue and you are right here. These are the measurements that competitive cyclists give you in order to find the right uh, bike for you. So this was only the second step. The third one will be to go for uh, the, another website which is readlybikes.com. Uh, why is it so? Because here you've got quite nice measurements but there is no um, stock and reach measurement here but if you go for Ridley and you choose uh, the type of the bike you're gonna be using uh, let's just start with the um, with the um, road bikes like you go for Aero for example and then you choose the model and then in the geometry you will have a very nice uh, calculator like super basic super easy you just choose your height like I'm here between 78 and 186 and that's when, what you what you will see now you can simply uh, compare those uh, like uh, top tube length uh, it should be around 56 centimeters with what really set tells you it will be quite same like 56 centimeters but here you will also have this n and d or o um, measurements yeah which is the stock and reach all right and once you know these measurements here uh, quite precise with the stem length and so on and the stock and reach now you're gonna go for any bike manufacturer's website and you will just compare those um, measurements finding the right size for you why did I choose competitive cycling uh, cyclist calculator? Because uh, others are not really good in my opinion. Uh, one of these is the Merida's calculator. Um, they will simply ask you for your inseam length, uh, the type of the bike, and then you cal calculate the frame size. It will be roughly your frame size, but sometimes it's gonna be wrong. And also 58 centimeters for Merida will be something completely different, like 58 for Trek, Cannondale or whatever. Like, um, for example, the Trek 1.2 uh, we have here is uh, in size 58 centimeters, but the top tube, top tube length is 56. So that would be 56 size for the Cannondale. So you don't really wanna be basing just on like frame size and uh, other uh, calculators will give you the length of the uh, of the seat tube which is not that helpful because um, when the angle of top tube changes the length of the seat tube will change but the geometry like stack and reach will remain the same probably or can remain the same or um, just vice versa if the angle of uh, seat tube changes then the length of top tube changes as well that's why you need stack and reach measurements from the Ridley website. So once more, first go for bike fit calculator on competitivecyclist.com, then fill out those uh, 
those measurements and once you have your measurements uh, already go for really and compare those those stack and reach measurements you're gonna find only on the uh, road, uh, road bikes but for mountain bikes Ridley will give you the angles uh, also and the angles will be just enough because you, you will just compare how steep the angle is for different bikes uh, thus comparing uh, stack and reach so it will be really really helpful for you guys uh, now of course if you have further questions you can always uh, put some link of the bike just below the video and uh, me or other riding buddies uh, from from Canada Canada channel viewers of Canada channel will try to uh, to answer your questions so that's it for this episode thanks for watching and I hope that you will find the right bike fitting to you and you will enjoy riding it see you soon guys